first two poems touch on my experience with the disease. Unfortunately, there are two now. Uh, my sister-in-law, Christine, did in fact die of lupus five years ago. She was my age when she died. Um, I can tell you she looked like she was 78. She was 55. Um, and since then, one of her many nieces has been diagnosed um, with a less rapacious strain of lupus, a lupus nonetheless. So, this first poem has a, a ridiculous name, apoptosis, which is a scientific name um, for the natural process of, it's sometimes called cell suicide, how cells are killed in the body. Um, there are drugs that help you do that if you have cancer. Uh, in the case of lupus, your body does it all too well by itself, much too well by itself. Apoptosis for Aaron. This drawing of the wolf is but a shadow on the wall. These lesions favor face and hand. The sunshine bullies me. I itemize the body's provenance. A smear of charcoal and alizarin. There is no chemotherapy for this. I don't believe it's only one disease that killed my aunt. I don't believe the autopsy report. This drawing of the wolf is but a shadow on the wall. The shadow is my diagnosis. Take away the light and I will disappear. The caves of Altamira have been closed to visitors. The animals enjoy this darkness. Their creator does not care about the chemistry. The kidney, blood cells, skin and lungs, the heart, the bone, the tendon are discernible impulsing waves. I close my eyes. This drawing of the wolf is but a shadow on the wall, primordial. Whatever that means, motherfucker. <laughs> Whatever teleology portends beyond a bebop title, apoptosis, or a needle in the hay. For this, there is no chemotherapy. I do not care about the code for killing, just the time. I really only care about the time. Thank you. Um, this one I wrote for Christine, um, who, uh, as it turned out, died on Holy Thursday. Uh, this poem is called Triduum. He said she looked at peace the second day, Good Friday. But I saw her Thursday night. Her intubated body, as it lay deflated, with a seven-hour fight to keep her breathing mercifully stopped. They pounded her so hard and for so long, she looked assaulted, like a fighter dropped in extra rounds. My sister-in-law, strong enough to mix with lupus, 30 years, surrounded by her family, gave in. On Easter Sunday, after several beers, her brother, who had gone back, gave us the spin. But I'd seen her Irish brothers in her face, the stony aura, that pugnacious grace. <laughs> 